a Meccano flipper mechanism version 3 uh, what was wrong with version 2? well the gear on this motor actually wore out um, it was joining to uh, one of these gears here with a very narrow face and it slowly wore the this pinion down um, so here I've used a, a large wide faced gear wheel to uh, connect to uh, before I did all this I was trying to use this motor um, for the flipper mechanism but unfortunately it's not quite powerful enough which is a real shame because this motor has got an internal gearbox and uh, there's special hardened gears in there which wouldn't wear out but anyway this, this works quite well I've simplified the mechanism a bit there are contrate wheels here now to give the, uh, to give the right angle to drive when there used to be bevel gears and that means that the uh, clutch mechanism can be on the same rod as the uh, as the contract drive um, they used to, with the bevel gears they can disengage if this rod's moving back and forth so that simplifies the mechanism a bit and um, at the end of the day it actually is quite a bit more powerful and so what I've done is reduced the mechanism from 12 volts or the motor and the uh, electromagnets from 12 volts down to 9 volts and um, that reduces the wear even more on the mechanism. These army road wheels make very good clutches. Uh, before I was using rubber rings and they tended to wear out uh, you know, even in a, in a few hours they were worn out but the army road wheels seem to last very well when uh, um, and the uh, plate is effectively a sprocket wheel which uh, pr provides a very flat face um, there are stops for the flippers, uh, you can see one there, there's also one at the back for when it goes to the bottom and underneath the mechanism there are tension springs which um, allow the flipper to come back down quickly. Anyway, let's see it work.